Hi guys, hi guys, Constantine here from CGC Media. So, as promised, today I'll be doing a unboxing of the EK uh, water block for the new Intel Sapphire Rapids uh, Xeon W processors that are uh, coming. So, um, officially, Intel has launched the uh, Xeon W series, which is W2400 and W3400. <coughs> Uh, which they are based on socket 4677 so socket 4677 is the new socket from Intel which is designed for the rapid uh, sapphire rapids um, generation of CPUs it's a brand new socket um, it's a bit larger 4677 is probably the largest they've got so far um, they are using it for their uh, server grade CPUs and now after so long they've all uh, they've launched the HEDT um, generation of CPUs based on the same architecture, Sapphire Rapids, um, and um, as promised, EK, which was uh, in the launch presentations, was one of their partners that will be releasing cooling solutions for it. EK has uh, provided a cooling solution for the CPU in the form of a monoblock. Now, uh, this is the EK um monoblock for um ek pro for four six seven seven cpus as it says on the back it says ek pro cpu water block four six seven seven now the main issue that uh i've had with this thing so far is the fact that there is no manual yeah yeah indeed there is no manual for it so not in the, this this is the box it comes with there's no other boxes and uh, there's a scan me kind of like barcode here that says scan me for manual when you scan it there is no manual provided now the mounting processor the mounting process for the 4677 socket is very delicate in terms of um, you've got a CPU which is quite large it's like a thread gripper size kind of like CPU right that CPU needs to be slid in a socket in a frame that's provided by the motherboard that you buy that frame gets attached to this monoblock after you obviously paste the CPU you attach the frame and CPU to this monoblock and then the combination of uh, frame CPU mother block uh, monoblock you, you mount it on the motherboard so obviously this process isn't uh, very simple uh, it's, it's got three parts it doesn't have just a CPU a monoblock uh, and that's it uh, so it's got three parts plus the motherboard um, it, it requires a bit of delicate attention because these CPUs can get very very expensive so I was a bit upset that, on the fact that EK did not provide a manual for this now um, I'm happy that I got the product and it's nice and early it's still on pre-order on the EK website but um, yeah um, even if I were to have the, the components for um, for the build that I'm planning um, I would struggle because I've got no manual so luckily these components, although Inter has officially launched the uh, Sapphire Rapids Xeon W series, which is um, available for pre-order on selected stores, um, their availability is to be somewhere towards the end of March to 2023. So it's still right now we're just at the mid-March 2023. Um, so um, they've got pretty much two weeks to sort out the manual stuff and until the parts start uh, start arriving now uh, enough chatting about it let's um, let's go through it and uh, let's do an unboxing so again because it's a EK Pro series this is not um, visually aesthetic it's not the shiny cardboard um, series it's just a plain cardboard because this is going to be mostly for wor workstations and for OEM vendors so they're not too bothered with the aspect of it. There's a cool blue label which I kinda enjoy though. Uh, once you open the box, you've got your uh, Allen key, you've got your EK cooling, and you've got two keys to, sort, to set the monoblock in place on the motherboard. And that's it, the wrapping is a bit frugal, as I said, just a bit of uh, Sponge like things that this is this is the usual sponge from from EK. Alright guys, so here we go. This is the monoblock. This is what I'm talking about. Wrapped in a bag, that's normal, most of UK monoblocks come like this. Now what I, first thing I noticed is um, it, this 
throw this away. Um, there you go, guys. I've seen bigger monoblocks. I have installed bigger monoblocks than this one. It's not very thick. It's not very heavy. So, um, it, it's... A, I don't know how good it will be at cooling stuff and again the manufacturing pro process is a bit raw so um, it's made of acetal and it's surrounded by a plate of uh, I think it's steel and this is the contact bit that goes uh, in, in you know in contact with the CPU it's quite large so I like this so there's a it's it's a massive large area compared to like LGA sockets from uh, AMD and Intel at the moment I think the area is is pretty much twice at large obviously this red this big yellow um, label here saying please remove it before before use is very useful uh, you, you may joke about it but <laughs> I forgot to remove one once it wasn't very nice I had to unopen the build it was just because I kept the, the uh, CPU block like this all the time during the build and when I got to the uh, point of putting the, the block on top of the CPU I just took it off put it without looking at the back of it <laughs> and it was a bit of a mess anyways um, as you can see the mounting mechanism I'm gonna start with this it's a bit complex so um, there's gonna be a plastic frame with the CPU which is gonna come attached to um, this uh, monoblock here and that combination we, you guys will attach it to the motherboard itself it's a bit delicate now uh, there's uh, some um, metallic little um, hinges on each side that I don't actually know what to do with them it, they will probably fit in the motherboard tray itself and and you've got this um, this little screw caps in here which will need to be screwed in the motherboard once you place the CPU and the monoblock uh, installation in there so I'm assuming it's gonna be something like this and you start screwing it diagonally as you normally do now without a manual unfortunately um, I can only guess that this is the correct process to do it but pretty much this is what it makes sense so attach the frame in the CPU obviously put some um, thermal paste on the CPU attach it to this uh, monoblock put the monoblock on the motherboard and start uh, tightening these things up until they will probably self tighten at some point uh, and th that should be it now the this surface this material here is not very thick um, I would say it's about two to three millimeters um, it's it's a bit raw I don't know if you can see it's a bit raw as in it's not machined and it's not shined or anything like that again because this is mostly for mainframes this is not going to be visible there's no RGB on it because there's absolutely no need to put RGB on it and there's three inlets uh, well obviously one is going to be an inlet one is going to be an outlet and the third one I don't know what's for is possibly another connection I'm assuming it's possibly if you've got two of these bad boys um, connected you might connect this one to the next one or you want to put more water jets in it I don't know but um, it's it's a first I've never seen one with three inlets before now I've pre-bought some taps here but it does come with this one so it, it comes with this tap here already applied I, I was thinking that I don't need three inlets so I've pre-bought one of these things as well you don't need to um, and again you got the EK logo here you got steel on top this is acetal it's a very nice um, it's, it's good looking in its raw form I kind of enjoy it but again I would have wished for like a black version a full black version there is one from alpha cool which looks slightly better it's a bit more expensive but there's a very long delay time on it I mean it, it will probably come within it said they said it will come like somewhere mid April or something like that availability for for purchasing I would have bought the alpha cool one because it's made of uh, acetal and it's uh, it's full black it goes very very well in the black build which is pretty much common for for workstations and stuff like that but they they have very long lead time so I kind of wanted to get the build done now in terms of performance it, by the looks of it it looks like they've got the same cooling system than they normally do so in there there's super uh, small fins 
uh, and there's like a um, blade on top of them they will direct the water once the water gets into the monitor block so they haven't done any changes in the inside of, of the cooling engine in it it's quite uh, it's quite standard but because of the surface is massively increased I do expect these boys to perform really really well uh, this is Achetol here so again um, it's good for tightening but don't tighten it too much you got the EK logo here and that's it there's not much much stuff to talk about this um, as I said I think it's about 200 to 250 grams uh, I'm hoping there's an easy process to fit it it does look a bit a bit unfinished but uh, you know what it's it's not the uh, retail aesthetics that matter for this type of build it's the performance apparently they've uh, they're advertising really good performance on it i'm really happy that this this came now because now i can finish the build i just got the the motherboard and the cpu to come which uh, they should be coming in the next uh, 10 days or so and then we can do the build and i can finally uh, benchmark the new rapid series from intel but yeah uh, at the moment there's no air-cooled um, fans or CPU coolers available for the Sapphire Rapids. Um, Noctua will release some, or they might release just upgrades to their their um, uh, CPU cooling fans. So they might just send you a bracket for the free for uh, for the 4677 socket. Um, sometimes they do that, but there's nothing available that I could find at this moment in time. I could not find any knock to our CPUs because they usually produce CPUs for servers, uh, CPU coolers for server. I could not find any knock to our CPU coolers compatible with this 4677 socket. This is literally the first uh, cooling, let's say, device to be um, a generic uh, for uh, Sapphire Rapid uh, right now, and it's not even available in the UK. So you can't find this one in the UK if you go to a store. I've ordered this directly from EK from Slovenia. Um, it came from them directly because I couldn't find it at uh, Water Cooling UK or Scan or any other um, seller at this moment in time. They will probably be available because obviously if you're, if if someone's selling the CPU, so they're only being sold at Scan at the moment. If they're selling the CPU, they will probably sell you a cooling solution for it as well if you do contact them. But all I can say is navigating through their website, I could not find one, so I had to just go and do some research and get one myself. So yeah, I, I'm counting on EK to be a performance cooler. I will give you guys some um, feedback once it gets on it up and running. Uh, Intel is uh, known for running hot on these two generations, so I won't be expecting this one to run too cool. Uh, um, maybe it will run like cool under uh, idle, but once it starts going, because they've got so many performance cores in this new Sapphire Rapids generation, I do expect these things to, to, to heat up a bit. Right, so thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for, for, for more videos about how to uh, do a water cooling build and about Sapphire Rapids coming in the near future. Thank you very much, guys. Cheers, cheers, bye bye.